So in this film, we're going to consider the following problem. Uh, so by the axioms for the real numbers, uh, we know there exists a number zero such that for all real numbers x, and x plus zero is just x. So when you add by zero, you do nothing. We now pose the following question. Are there other such numbers? And the answer is, of course, no. Uh, because if there were, I think we would have heard about it or heard about them by now. Uh, but how to prove it? So let's state this as a, a theorem or a proposition. So if, let's use a fancy name here. So use zero with a that, um, line like this, call it fat zero. So if fat zero is, is such that for all x, we have x plus fat zero is equal to x. So fat zero does exactly the same that zero does. Uh, then zero is equal to fat zero. And what does this say? Well, it says that uh, zero is unique. It says that if you have any other guy who does exactly the same job uh, as zero, well, then it was zero all along. So this is one way of formulating that. So let's prove it. And in the proof, we'll need uh, one additional axiom. So we need uh, commutativity for addition. We need that x plus y is always equal to y plus x. So can now make uh, a chain of uh, equalities. So let's begin with one of the sides. So why not begin with fat zero? So fat zero is a number, right? So he's one of those x we're talking about here. And now if I have an x, then I can add zero. So this is equal to zero. So here I use the property of zero, our usual guy. And now, well, I basically want to use the property of fat zero now. So to say that, well, if zero is now my x, then I can take fat zero away. So x plus fat zero is the same as x. But you see here, the way I've written this rule, then fat zero is to the right of x. And here, fat zero comes to the left. So then I use this commutativity. So here I use commutativity to flip these two guys around. And now, I can write that this is equal to just zero. So here I'm using the property of fat zero, saying that x plus fat zero is equal to x. And here I used commutativity. And by this, I've made a chain of equalities, which connects this to this, to this, to this, meaning that this is equal to that. And then I'm done.